Jamil Charlo, junior middleweight, WBC 154-pound champion, calls Jaime Maguia a little boy and tells Golden Boy and Jaime Maguia to come see him if they really about that action. We back. It's the Boxing Clan. Good morning. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back on the boxing grind. And, um, yeah, if you you know remember, I did a video about Jaime Maguia, you know, name dropping on Jamal, Jamel Charlo. And I'm saying that he's just talking shit and he's not ready. And people got mad. Oh, you racist me. Jaime Maguia is this and that. And people got mad, you know what I'm saying, because I spoke some facts. And, um, you know, tell me what fact I didn't speak in that video. But um, Jaime Maguia, you know, did name drop Jamel Charlo and said that he wanted to fight him and this and that. But then he tried to fight Carson Jones at Guadalajara and Harlan, get an exception before he had to fight Lyman Smith. But he got to fight Liam, Liam Sears, excuse me, in July and uh, get him out the way. Then he might come back on the Canelo undercard in September. So, uh, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? He did name drop. He had no intentions in the near future of facing Jamel Charlo, at least in the near future this year, maybe sometime next year in the future. But Jamel Charlo said, little boy, come see me. You know, we ain't got to go see them. They got to come find us. We the most prestigious champion at 154 pounds. We got the WBC. I'll link that interview in the description. But, hey, it's just the way he feels, man. You know, he feels like a boss. He feels like a veteran. And, um, like I said, the pup killer, Jamil Charlo, he already killed one pup career in Erickson Lubin. Hopefully, he bounced back. And he'll be looking to beat another guy in Jaime Maguire. And people say, oh, Jaime Maguire, Charlo ain't did this. And Jaime will do that at the end of the day. Dude, 21 years old, man. He's young. He's green. He, he got a lot of – he got a big talent. He got a large future. And it's smart to keep him away from a guy like Jamil Charlo right now. This motherfucker's 28 years old. He got plenty of pro experience, man. And he, he's physically just as big as Jaime Maguire. He's faster. He's quicker. He can punch. He's more advanced. His body is more mature. It wouldn't be smart to put him in there right now with him. Let Jaime Maguire get a feel with Liam Smith and then potentially a J-Rod. And let him get into the rhythm of fighting some of these top American fighters and get a feel for their style. And when he get a feel for these top American style, he hit the ground running, man. He's going to be all right. You know, but people, all the people here, the negative, the negative stuff that I say as far as him not being ready, he's not ready. Jamel Charlo will put this motherfucker to sleep quick, fast, and in a hurry. He's just physically not ready, man, as far as, you know, his skills and, and his experience level. Once he get his experience up... You know, and if they move him the right way, he's going to be a star in boxing. Trust me. He got all the ability, all the boxing skills, just repetition and getting used to the American style fighters and, and just, you know, getting acclimated to the top end level. It takes time. At, tw at 21, probably 90% of your prize level fighters was never ready to, to even be a world champion or even be, be on this level and fight some of these, these world champion guys. So you got to give them that respect. But, hey. At the end of the day, people are going to hear what they want to hear and take what they're going to take out these videos and not listen with an open mind. But, um, hey, we know what it is, man. It's going to be a very, very, uh, you know, interesting junior middleweight division. It's starting to heat up. And um, like Charlo said, man, he said, little boy, bring that, bring bring your ass over here then. Come get this work. And I, I don't think Jaime Maguire, as, as, a, as a man and as a fighter, will shy away from that. But I think it's smart right now to, you know, keep him where he at, man. Keep him fighting Liam Smith. That's a great fight. Potentially Liam Williams after this, or J Rock, or or or, or Ishe Smith, or Tony Harrison, guys like that. Move them nicely, let them get that experience, get a feel for some of these American style, style fights, these UK fighters, and then you know you can start talking about Jamel Charlo because Jamel Charlo wants to be at 154 for the long haul, unless his brother Ray at 160, he not going nowhere unless he just absolutely can't make weight no more. So. You know, we, we just talking that real trill boxing talk, man. Appreciate you guys for uh, watching the videos, sharing and subscribing. We stay active through all the BS. And when channels falling off, we still coming on strong. And um, hopefully we can, uh, you know, be the number one source of your boxing news and, and uh, your boxing reports and breaking down fights. We got a lot of fight breaks down coming this weekend. So, um, you know, Friday afternoon, I'm going to start working on some of these, these breakdown and predictions, man, and drop them. Probably Sunday night and um, you know Monday morning and afternoon through Monday. Got a lot of fights. You got. I'm not gonna do one in the Fury fight, but I do one for Hooker, Flanagan, Leo, and uh, Mars Two, Terrence Crawford, Jeff Horn. And I think those are the three I'm gonna do. So it's TBC and Morris, your boy CJ Goodfellow narrating. Y'all know what it is. We gone.